everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis, for those of you who don't know me. <clears throat> I was asked yesterday by a viewer how I keep our bathrooms so decluttered and tidy. So I kind of just want to share with you guys some tips on how you can declutter and how you can maintain a clean bathroom. So the first thing you want to do when decluttering your bathroom is get all of your products together. This might be overwhelming, a little bit daunting. I like that a little bit. It helps me see like really everything that I have. It puts into perspective like what I really own, how much there can be like, you know, we accumulate a lot of stuff over time. So this can really help, but if that seems like too much for you, you can always take it drawer by drawer. Um, just maybe start with your countertop, maybe do it over a couple days if you really have that much stuff to go through. Me, I'm like, get it done, do it now, but that's just me. So yeah, first get everything together, get it all in one area. You might want to clear off like a place on your floor and just pile it on, do it all there. And then start to kind of designate piles or maybe if you have like bins or bowls or something that you can use, um, you'll want to set up different spots to where you can organize as you go through the, the products you have. And the first thing you want to set aside is anything that has like its own kind of category. So if you have all of your makeup mixed in with everything else, all of your makeup stuff should go set aside by itself in its own little land. Same with like nail stuff. If you have like nail polish and removers and all that kind of stuff, put it in its own pile and then those things you can declutter later. Um, also, I would save like your shower for like another one also. Um, a lot of people tend to have lots of shampoos and conditioners just stuffed in their shower. Um, I would leave that for a separate time, maybe tomorrow. That's always good. <clears throat> so once you've kind of gotten rid of those extra categories, the next thing you want to do is separate any items that you've been using lately and very um, like consistently. So if you have maybe a favorite perfume that you wear every day or uh, a lotion that you use every day, your deodorant, your toothpaste, your toothbrush, uh, maybe like Q-tips and cotton balls and those types of things, those all are just gonna be set aside because you know you use it, you know you like it and whatever. You'll use it up so that can be set aside. The next thing you wanna do is like, take out anything that's either completely used up and you just have the container left over for some reason, and um, or maybe like expired products, some face washes expire, and maybe just products that really are like gross, like grandma smelly, mm, no. So you can either toss it out into the trash or clean up the containers and recycle them. But all of those products should go aside into their own little pile or into the trash. And the next thing you wanna do is actually get a physical bin for this one. And this bin will hold all of the things that you don't mind using up and that you actually are willing to use up. This might be like half empty bottles of lotion that you just kind of forgot about but you don't mind using or whatever. Anything like that, go ahead and put it in a bin and then this bin is going to be the first bin you come to anytime you need something. So before you even get to the newer stuff that you have, look in that bin, see what lotions you can use and lather it on. Same with any other products. If you have like travel products, for some reason we like to pick those up and take them home when we go to like hotels and stuff, or like like free samples too. Use those suckers up, put them in that bin, use them. Try to use like two or three things a day depending on what it is that's in the bin, but definitely use what's in there every single day just until it's gone. It's a bit less wasteful because you're actually using it and yeah then you don't have to worry about it once it's gone and whatever is left over might be a little bit random you might have some stuff that you just don't like um, if there's like 
lotion bottles that are full or perfume that's full. Sometimes you can donate it. I know Goodwill and Value Village sometimes will sell them. But I always like to ask friends and family first if they want it. Like I would always ask my mom and sister if they wanted something that I didn't like. And most of the time they took it. So, and then after that, you can donate whatever is left over. And then you're pretty much to the end at this point of sorting through everything and you have everything in different piles and whatnot. And you've touched and you've seen and you've smelled whatever products you have. You know what's there. You know what's been hiding in your drawers for who knows how long. And <clears throat> before you put it all back, something I like to do is just do a really deep clean real quick. Wipe everything down. Some things might need to be scrubbed. You might need to vacuum out your drawers. Whatever it is, clean up the space before you put everything back. And then before you put everything back, maybe try to... Um, like separate things into categories kind of like in my bottom drawer I have all of my hair stuff in my middle drawer I mostly have like um, facial scrubs face masks and like facial lotions and then I also have like my lipstick and like my birth control and my deodorant is in there those are things that I use just about every day I use something from that drawer every single day and then in the top drawer, Edgar and I both have our shaving stuff. <clears throat> so, sorry. <clears throat> Been fighting a cold. Um, yeah, so either you can buy an organization system, maybe you have one that didn't work before because you just had too much stuff, and now it'll work because you have narrowed down the belongings you have in your bathroom. But go ahead and put everything back in an organized way and if it really helps you, this might help a lot of people actually, take a picture of your drawers and take a picture of your countertops. And this will help with maintaining the tidy bathroom. Let's get into that right now. Maintaining a tidy bathroom or a tidy any room in your house can be difficult if you have bad habits. So. It's essential to work really hard to break those bad habits, but then also replace them with good habits that will help you keep them or, you know, keep your spaces clean. The first one I have to say is definitely put everything back where it goes as soon as you're done using it. And everything should have like a designated place. It shouldn't just be like here, like, oh, just throw it in the drawer. like. Literally everything in my drawer has like a specific place. Like I don't have an organizer in the drawer, but I've used my brain to, you know, arrange things in a way that's organized. Like I literally could draw out my drawer right now and tell you exactly where everything's at in it. That's how organized it is and that's how well I know what's in my bathroom. The products I use, I know. I mean, that's ingrained in my brain and this will really help with shopping first of all don't shop when you go to the store don't just wander down the aisles and oh I want to go check out the the shampoos they have over here I want to go look at clothes like when you go to the store first make a list before you even think about getting in your car make a list and then only go to the sections of the store that correspond to what's on your list if toothpaste isn't on your list, you should not be going down the toothpaste aisle or anywhere near it. Don't go there. So yeah, the first thing right there is just don't shop. If you don't have to shop, don't do it. And if you do find yourself wandering down the aisles in Target or I don't know, wherever you shop, pull out your phone. We all have it on us all the time, but guess what you have on there? Photos of your beautiful, clean bathroom that's just been decluttered and beautifully organized and wiped down, and you can re-inspire yourself and encourage yourself to maintain that. You can give yourself a pat on the back and say, hey, look at that, it looks real nice, I'm gonna keep it that way. And then you go to the check lanes, you buy the stuff that's in your cart, you get in the car and you go home, 
and then you can really give yourself a pat on the back. Or maybe have a little spa day or something. I don't know. But you didn't buy anything you didn't need or that you wouldn't use or that you don't want. And that's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. Okay, and then the next tip for like maintaining a clean bathroom, a tidy, decluttered bathroom, um, I would say is especially around like holidays or birthdays, tell people to not get you gifts. I find that a lot of people like to give um, <clears throat> like bath sets or like spa sets as gifts because they really don't know what they want to get you. Just tell people no gifts. That's okay, like we can go out to lunch or something or dinner or maybe take me bowling, that would be fun. Tell people no gifts. And that will definitely help with all of the clutter in your house because a lot of times we receive things that we actually don't really want to hold on to but we don't know how to like get rid of it without feeling guilty. It's okay. If we just nip it in the butt and say, hey, I don't want any gifts, then you're preventing that from even happening in the first place. You won't have 500 bath sets that last you 26 years. It's happened to me too many times. And, you know, then you can just go on living with your clean bathroom. It's awesome. It's a really good feeling. And then kind of the last one here is to wipe the bathroom down just about every day. So whenever I take a shower or, like, do my makeup or something, I just take a washcloth that I have in my bathroom and wipe everything down. If there's any water on the counter, I wipe it off. I'll wipe down the faucet and the handles and the mirror and maybe wipe down the toilet every couple days. And that's also good if you're about to do laundry and you're taking out any dirty towels or whatever. Wipe everything down. And I actually, because I have a master bath, I will take any towels that I need to wash and I'll wipe down above my bed on my headboard because sometimes it gets dusty. I'll wipe down our nightstands, my dresser, and then yell at my dog for barking at the mail lady, Max. Stop. <laughs> and yeah, so I'll just wipe everything down and then I'll go do laundry and I'm set. And I have a clean bathroom and a growling dog with a clean bathroom. It's real nice. So yeah, those are my tips for decluttering and then maintaining a nice tidy bathroom. So I would just say go ahead, oh, ding is up here, I forgot. Go ahead and try these out if they work for you or if they don't work for you. Let me know down below in the comments and share with friends and family, subscribe, like, comment, it's all good. I appreciate it all. And really a lot of these tips too will work in any room in your house. So if you're thinking about going through your pantry or your fridge or just your drawers, any drawers in general, um, a lot of these tips will help you. And a lot of these like tips for maintaining the cleanliness too will also help. So give them a shot. Let me know what you think. If they help or not, I'd love to know. Um, pass the word on and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.